today's video on the way I got it figured. Transformers Legacy Generation Selects Cyclonus. The way I got it figured. Generation Selects Cyclonus and his uh, packaging. You see here, uh, they always put the little sticker. You got the new for Legacy Series uh, stylized rendering of the character in question. Now, I have not released him from his uh, packaging. I wanted to find out along with the rest of the world whether or not Mine was going to have the uh, the flaw that seems to be going around, which is the arm seem to be loose. Um, I'm gonna get him out of the package and we will find out very shortly. All right, so Cyclonus is out of his packaging um, and here's all of his uh, accessories, which I'm trying to get fully into the frame kind of tricky so yeah so uh, it comes with a, a label sheet um, similar to uh, the earlier generation selects Galvatron release um, toy colors and of course this figure follows the toy colors as well in addition it comes with a battle master uh, nightstick which is a re-release of Blowpipe. I'm sure Blowpipe was re-released um, as other other characters as well. I mean, that's, I think there's like three variations of, of Battle Masters. And it comes with the Fire Effect uh, Blowpipe. And then, curiously, they did include a secondary um, Blast Effect which is great because I love blast effects. And as well as the original Cyclonus weapon uh, from the Kingdom release. A lot of people said they had issues uh, getting their uh, label sheet out. Um, that it would be stuck in some kind of way. Uh, difficult to, you know, to get it without messing up the stickers. I was lucky in that regard. Uh, but... I did get a little bit of a rip from the tape on my instruction booklet, which you know, I don't know, whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain, but it was because it was poorly taped. So I just feel like I should probably mention that. It is not a big deal. Now, how did I do on the uh, looseness test? So, interestingly enough, my Cyclonus, while he is. Looser than the Kingdom version. Um, he can certainly uh, spread his arms out without them uh, falling down. I've heard that they're extremely floppy, uh, but the proof is in the pudding, right? So what we need to do is have him hold his weapons and see how well he does that. So I'm gonna put his weapons in his hand uh, right here live. So first we'll attach his uh Original OG gun, oxidation laser. He is still holding that. And then we will transform blowpipe, or rather nightstick, second nightstick. The other one coming with Art Fire Autobot nightstick. I think the other one's gonna have to get a name change because, you know, that's not gonna work for two nightsticks. Never really gave it too much thought before now. All right, so now we have Nightstick transformed. And he is uh, fully supporting both weapons, as you can see, um, the T-pose. So we don't have to worry too much about that. As the arm did fall down. 
but he can support. Uh, he can he can pretty much support a dynamic pose uh, with the weapons in hand. So you know, I don't know. It's not the best. It's not. He is he is he is definitely looser than the original uh, release of Cyclonus. He's you know, but he's not so loose that um, you can't work with it. I mean, he's holding up both weapons. Um, so posing them isn't really, really an issue. Um, as far as this Deco being the original toy Deco, having it in hand, I mean, it looks kind of cool. I'm not sure if I, a little loose in the legs, let's see. Yeah, he's a little loose. Um, not, not floppy. You know, we couldn't, we couldn't, I couldn't go as far as to call him floppy. That would be an exaggeration. He does more or less pass the shape test. Um, so who knows? Maybe there's a, maybe there's a way to tighten these joints a little bit. Um, which I would prefer to be tools if I was going to do it. I don't. I don't want to deal with Q-tips or any of that kind of stuff. But, um, but he's more or less. You know, he's he's pretty solid. The toy is the toy itself is solid. The uh, the tolerances on the joints are a little loose, but it's not. It's not a deal breaker. All right, so I'm going to get them transformed, and we'll take a look at that. Okay, here's Cyclonus in space jet mode. A very faithful representation of the toy. Never could have too many figure stands, but to show the various parts of them, which all these holes down here take blast effects, which I wish I'd brought some with me to make it look cooler like he's uh blasting through space or whatever but yeah cyclonus jet mode if you want to go 87 style of course you can stick night stick on top of them and I can fly around as a target master, or whatever we're calling them nowadays. You can also put them under the wings, uh, whatever, whatever you desire. Five millimeter port under the wings there. Five millimeter ports here. Even, even though these are more for robot mode, I'm sure you can figure out something for them. But yeah, Cyclonus in. Jet mood. I should point out he does have landing gear. Uh, just in case for people who didn't get the Kingdom version and this is your first uh, first time around with this mold or been living under a rock for the last year and a half. He does have landing gear. Very cool, very cool. Okay, Cyclonus is back in robot mode uh, with his weapons and accessories attached. Blast effects blasting. I have not decided um, if I'm going to apply his, his sticker sheet. There's a strong chance that I actually will, but I've seen where um, uh, certain stickers, they will essentially immediately get ripped uh, based in based on his, his transformation. So that's kind of a, a turn down, um, but you know, I might replace the Decepticon symbol. Then again, I might not, I don't know. Um, the, the toy colors are enough for me the label sheets don't necessarily enhance anything, for me, anyway. I didn't put them on Galvatron. 
Um, so I don't know. I say there's a strong chance I will, but with the ripping sticker and the fact that I didn't put them on Galvatron, it's actually probably going more in the other direction. Um, because I'm where I'm doing these reviews, uh, this review today, um, unfortunately, I don't uh, have any any other figures to compare uh, with him. But um, what I will say is where I got it figured. Uh, Transformers Legacy Generation Selects Cyclonus uh, is a solid figure, uh, hampered a little bit by some looseness, uh, particularly in his arm joints and uh, in his thigh joints. Uh, but he is he is a good figure. Um, I do uh, I plan to uh, pose him up with some of his uh, his other. Uh, contemporaries and uh, maybe I'll shoot another video for that um, but I'd like to thank you for watching this video and if you enjoy the content please give me a, a like and uh, subscribe and, uh, and and most importantly a comment I do love to hear from all of my subscribers and uh, particularly in terms of how I can improve my channel so everybody stay safe out there and I will see you on the next one.